Yo. Yo. Yo, yo, it's the weed show. Yo, I usually say yeah, but let's go with yo. Um, there's a press conference going on, so I'm gonna make this short and sweet. It's the weed show brought to you by uh, DID Chains and DID Dirt Star Rims. What drives you? They've been doing it for about 100 years. What drives those two bikes up front in the 450 class? We really, really built up the drama of a potential challenge to Jet Lawrence or Chase Sex today. Good luck, JT. Yeah, bro. Good luck. Just oh, going yeah, to the wall of traffic. In traffic you might as well. AC. It's like Hayden Deegan's fan base. Just gonna be a in wall AC. of people. It's okay. I'm good. Oh, you're in the AC. AC. Yeah. yeah. I was in it all day. Brian Barnes. <laughs> it's a pleasure, my friend. And thanks for the donations, the uh, the jersey donations. That is unreal. More to come. I said I heard 400 items. It's good to see you. All right, Brian. I'm glad I caught up with you. I got a press conference okay. here. Bye. That's Brian Barnes, the longtime voice. Good morning, Washougal. And he donated 400 jerseys to Road to Recovery. And you can bid on some of those right now. Go to Road, the number two recovery. Uh, press conference time. Uh, I will be right back. Uh, Sexton did bring it in the second photo to conclude that story. And, and Chase kept me honest with that whole time. I'm like, uh, we uh, ain't needed. At the start of that second, I always didn't know what got to that man. I was like, geez, this guy's booking. He ended up dropping us a burst of last. I'm like, damn, maybe I hit going wild. But uh, once I get around him, I'm like, come on, just give me a little bit of just a little bit of a gap, just make a safety bump. And I look back like a few turns later, Chase is like, already there. I'm like, all right, I think uh, I think AP starting to have an hour. <laughs> but um. No, it was, a, it was a good one. It, it's such a, that last one was such a different track from the start of the day. The start of the day was tacky, I you know, had peaks of rats, and that one was just literally just pat, like, almost powder burned. Um, so it was kind of a mix, a mixture of being like just patient and trying to like keep the roll speed up and we were kind of pushing that limit a little bit and, and uh, sadly Ch Chase has got a bit with, which sucks for him, but I was able to give me that bit of an extra safe car. I just like, relax now so um but uh, another good day uh this this track's not normally uh, normally not the best here so it's good to get this one out of the way get a good break go play some golf at quarter lane um so i'm definitely excited for that yeah the first photo i uh i just didn't get the greatest start and i kind of got uh fumbled back a little bit which took me a while to get to second and once i got there jim was already gone so second photo thank god they got a restart because i smoked the game uh, I think Jason did it the next thing that I ran right into it. So um, thank God we got a restart. And then I got a good start at AP. It was just a little bit on the inside of me and forced me wide. So he obviously got the whole shot. Um, and then coming up that next hill, I was like, I was stuck in the middle. I don't know, do I go outside or go inside? Because if I follow, I feel like Jet's going to pass me. If I go outside, I could find a good line, hopefully, and try to get around AP and end up not working out in my favor. So. Got bumped, bumped back to third, and then um, yeah, I kind of I rode around for a while just trying to find some good lines, and then right as I was starting to start to kind of close up a little bit, um, came down the hill, went into the corner, and just stalled it. Dude, fell off, obviously. So uh, yeah, the the riding was good again today. The, the track was a little bit different today than it normally is. Feel like it was rougher this year than it has been just with the sand and mixed in and stuff like that. And I also don't feel like the rocks got as, as deep to there as good. So, um, yeah, there was, there was not, not much of the rocks out there. So, it, would, uh, it was just a little bit different track than we're normally used to here. But, um, yeah, overall, I just still clicking away and trying to uh, get better for the weekend. Yeah. Uh Talking to the guys at the press conference, it was pretty interesting uh, to hear, you know, we had that lingering question of Jet, the effort he was putting out in these photos was that management. It's really hard to tell uh, with his riding style. And uh, James Stewart taught me something today in a TV show. He said a lot of that is because he keeps his head still and his upper body pretty still. So all this stuff is going on down there, but you don't really see it. Dude, you were all over it today. You were all over it. El Puppy Junior, man. Yep, it was all over it. Better than my show. Um, this is clear uh, today in the second moto uh, that that is not just managing it that was two guys really going now i don't think anyone of this level they'll all tell you they're never like on the limit like oh my gosh i'm gonna crash any second but they were pushing it hard and that's what's been fun to watch that's what i think everybody just wants to see so that is all good and uh makes it compelling uh, camera shy I'm, i'll blur you so that's cool and uh jet said yeah i was just doing everything i could to keep the rear from stepping out um, but he says he enjoys it he enjoys having that kind of pressure uh it keeps him honest keeps him focused more so than um you know when he was 
as he said, has his mind just blank and just riding around. And shout out to Aaron Plessinger, who had an amazing run early in that moto. What the heck was that? Brother. Can we do it again? Yeah. You got more of that? I got more of that. I just need to freaking do it. God, was it just a start? Do you know? I think it was. Really? Of, yeah, I mean, I, I think most of it was a start. And then, yeah. it was the first moto I kind of just got stuck behind everybody. And, and I mean, you know this track. It's, I did. I mean, like a slot car track. So that but, is it. A lot of it is a start. Yeah, yeah yes. definitely. Here, yes. it's, it's crazy. Um, we actually, on the TV show, were almost borderline trash talking you, saying like, this was a guy who was maybe the second best, maybe I can challenge Jet early in the year, where's that guy gone? And then an hour later, he was back. Yeah, He yeah. was back. It was, it was crazy, yeah, I, don't, I, I have no clue what I was doing that first moto. Yeah. It, it, it pissed me off, real Yeah, bad. yeah. And uh, yeah, I just thought about what I could fix, so. Well look, Unadilla, before the loop out, <laughs> We remember Anywhere. you are fast on that track. Let's go. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'm is ready. First moto guy is gone. Is he gone? He's gone. He's gone. Okay. He's gone. After these next couple weeks, I can, I can build up, you know, what I got. And uh, first moto guy, I don't know where that came from, but he's. See you later. He's gone. How about a crowd for this dude? I was just telling him that. Yes. And I, and I said on the on the, I said, is this a cowboy country? Like, oh I yeah. Think it was a cowboy oh yeah, Portland, country. Oregon. No, it, that's what I mean. It's not yeah. cowboy country. No. But dude, they were losing it. Yeah. Be surprised, man. There's, okay. There's some cowboys. Okay. Okay. There's every, right. okay. Hey, they said you can go to England and you can find them everywhere. Yeah. They've got them everywhere. I literally said the first yeah. thing to him. I said, dude, that was awesome because they the were crowd. into him. Yes. 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 Oh, and during the moto while you were leading. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I meant. Oh, that's, not podium. No. Podium was not too. Oh, so I didn't see podium. I meant while he was leading. Yeah. While he was leading. Podium was insane. Really? I, couldn't, I couldn't hear my bike on the track, and then I couldn't hear myself talk. I couldn't even. I didn't even know what JT asked me. I just <laughs> responded. I just responded. We don't really. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He, <laughs> yeah. he sucks anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, yeah, I thought when he was leading, I was like, look at the. They're losing their yes. shit over this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I do it again. That was great. Yeah, yeah. That was great. Do it again. Good yep. to have you back up there. I haven't there. seen that since Fairyland. Oh yeah, they yeah. known yeah. the original cowboy. Yeah, the original, yeah, the original yeah, yeah. cowboy. Oh yeah, he was known for that. <laughs> um, so that was really good racing. That second moto with Plessinger leading, the crowd losing their mind. Yeah, it's Reed's show, and then uh, the battle that we we're hoping to see all along, the true challenge between uh, Chase and Jet. And uh, Chase said he's like, I feel like last year we've got, we're going even faster. I feel like I had maybe a little bit of speed on Eli last year, but now I got something new to chase, and I got to keep working on my myself and the bike to get better. And uh, Chase gave, or sorry, Jet gave Chase respect uh, for keeping him honest in that moto. And you could see, I mean, they were both making a lot of mistakes. Jet was making mistakes while leading. This is not the, it looks like he's riding at 70%, although I think he was riding harder than that, but it's not the controlled pace for Lawrence now. And that's just making the racing more compelling. But I think you could argue that it's just as big a story of what happened in the 250 class. Uh, look, I, I thought it was trending in a bad direction for Hayden Deegan and I just wanted to say that look as a rookie we all have to be realistic and say uh, you shouldn't expect him to 2-3 or 1-1 every round of the series it's supposed to be tough at times there's supposed to be tough moments and yesterday on our uh, preview show not on Weed Show but uh, on our uh, 61st look he said he's like look man I'm a rookie I'm learning the tracks Tom Bial is doing the same thing he's ahead of Tom Bial in points I thought he had shifted into learning mode. I did not know that flurry was coming. The first moto, the start really helped. But uh, the second moto, just running down Justin Cooper. Cooper said he was pretty weak late in the moto, didn't eat enough, stomach felt bad, couldn't fight back. But look, that's not the reason. That probably slowed him a little bit, but Deegan just went mini beast mode right there. He went four seconds faster than everyone else. Yeah, I felt like uh, today I had uh, a good shot at it, but um, yeah, I think uh, uh, Hayden beat me level one two would have got me, so uh, yeah, it was pretty smooth at the end. I didn't get enough food in me today, and uh, yeah, that, that uh, definitely showed. I think I had nothing to give. Uh, Jason from uh, TV show, uh, Hayden, you ran a 2.15 with like two laps to go. Every, the pace was kind of 218, 219 at that point in the race. What was going on there? Uh, yeah, I got that kid energy, you know. Uh, 235s. So, uh, since you uh, spent some time recovering and the 235s are you know, easy to be done. So at the end of that 35, I was like, I mean, I got energy point on the set on some meters. So uh, we did that. And uh, yeah, just really trying to you know, show that I can do that as fast as so. Do you feel you were actually saving something at one point where you're like not quite at the limit and then you realize you had more to give? Is that how it turned out? 
yeah, I mean, on the start, Hunter was right behind me. He's about fit. And, uh, he was right there with me. So I was like, I got to get going. And uh, I took a little bit of laps, you know, just fun in lines. And then about halfway, I really set off. And, uh, yeah, I just tried to get you know, my point. Uh, obviously, your team, you guys share a trainer there with Swanee. He's done great work through the years. Um, but your fitness has been really good this year, which is normally for rookies, it's tough to do 35s for the first time. Are you doing extra? Are you doing more? Do you feel like you just adapted to it quickly? How are you able to learn this pro thing? Because really, the fitness has been an asset for you. Yeah, Swanee's an awesome trainer. It's a good amount of stuff with uh, the championship stars one. And uh, I mean, yeah, there could be extra stuff you know, that I do. Uh, I keep that one to myself. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you just got to work hard, and uh, the sport, it's uh, for every kind of guys that never want to give up, and uh, they have that enemy sound, it's going to let me off. Cool. Uh, at any point, did you feel you were wearing down? You're racing week to week, really, for the first time ever. Did you feel that at all, last couple weeks, or any point? Yeah, rookie season, you got to learn this type of stuff. Uh, after Southwick was my first time, you know, like, uh, I got to spend a lot more time recovering, so uh, that's uh, what we did these last two weeks, just keep building myself back up. And, I talked to him actually after the press conference and he just said that uh, he felt he had something left. He started sending it off that wall jump. The crowd was going nuts. He felt like he had more in it, so he went for it. And there's really no secret to what Deegan is doing except he rides super hard and he does not crash. And he does not get tired. Um, kind of reminds me of the way Ricky Carmichael used to win races. There was no secret except that and that. And uh, it's interesting. And how about the Deegan? Marketing, as always, throwing a little bit of extra spice in the podium. Uh, Hunter should be worried because he's the one that's supposed to be winning these races and throwing the good to have an American back out there angle. My stupid card malfunctions all the time. But I was saying is uh, Deegan put a little spice on it with the good to see the American back up here and Hunter should be worried because he's the one that should be winning the races. Just just a little extra spice. You know the Deegan's work. They're, they're always thinking of the, the hook, the marketing angle. I'm here for it. No hay comms. Should make it more interesting down the stretch. We'll see how it turns out. Hunter just seemed bummed. Nothing to do with any of that. Just at himself. Hunter is a super serious guy as far as, I mean, when he doesn't do well, he takes it on the chin. And I think he's just bummed that he didn't get it done today. And uh, nothing more than that. So he was just frustrated over that. Good job, two-stroke guys. Two-stroke guys killed it today. Congrats to Carson Brown, I believe. Did Carson Brown, was he the top? Did Carson Brown win it? It's the top of my head. At, at late in the moto, that's where he was, so I think he held on. But it was really cool. Shout out to all those guys uh, for doing that and um, making it fun. And big sacrifices for guys like Morantz, who needed super motocross points, but Jerry instead Robin. rode the two-stroke. Jerry Robbo was out in the first moto. What happened, Mitch? Uh, he said he thinks the bike may have boiled, gas may have boiled over, and then he said second issue, or second moto. He had another issue. The bike gave out, and he went over the bars over one of the wall jumps. Oh, Jerry. He, said he got slammed down, and I was like, Jerry. Oh, Hey, we have the greatest way. We could not wrap up the day better than this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a genuine item. I didn't even know these shirts existed. You guys made them. I made them. We made them. And you knew to go to Twisted Tea by the end of the day. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Weed Show. Well done, boys. All right, hang out here for the other show. That's the Weed Show. Thanks to DID. Thanks to the riders again for putting on. Was that good racing today or what? Absolutely. Yeah. How about Deegan in that second moto, guys? Oh, yeah, so the bad dude. Yeah, the bad dude. He's, yeah, yeah. I was giving up on it. Do not give up on this guy. No, no. And uh, Chase made it interesting. I Sexton uh, might have. I know that was that was getting Did he tense. Did go down? Yeah. He just uh, hit. No, he, this time he hit. He stalled and tipped over. Oh, rare. Yeah, well, didn't, didn't James the say, S turns? So James, they cut. They James first. always says. Yeah, just tuck the front end if you can't catch him, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> this time, that was too close to give it yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he was he was actually gotten closer. That was about as close as he had been. Right. But yeah. you could tell he just went in the turn, and then all of a sudden, he, the bike just didn't move. But this was the track that he was going to beat him. Uh, this is yeah. pr it seemed like coming in, this is the one he was pumped on. Right. We'll see. Yeah, Jet survives, man. He does it. All right, stick around, boys. Yes, sir. That's it for the Weed Show. We'll be uh, back. Uh, we'll have a couple shows with our buddies from Race Tech. We'll be back uh, from the Red Lens. So we'll see you down there in a few weeks.